Howdy everyone, Stefan here back for another episode on the French Cooking Academy and today we are marking the end of our vegetable series because we need to move on finally to some further recipe. But in order to finish that series with a bang, I was looking for something really nice, you know, really impressive that could really impress your friends if you want to make it. And the one recipe I found is actually called the Grand Aioli, a vegetable platter coming directly from the south of France, which is composed of an array of partly cooked vegetables and all fresh and colorful. When you're going to have some uh, broccolinis, you're going to have some carrot, you're going to have some asparagus, some radishes, some potatoes, and even some boiled eggs, all laid down in a table like that. And in the middle, you're going to have a garlic mayonnaise made from scratch out of a pureed garlic, raised in a pestle and mortar, made by hand, and you're going to be able to dip all the vegetables in and maybe serve with some nice little French bread on the side. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's not waste any more time and let's start cooking the Gran Aioli. For the food preparation, it's all uh, very easy. It's a matter of washing, trimming and peeling your vegetables. Now, the most important thing you need to note for that platter is you need to try to get something even in terms of size. So what I've done here, if you look at my vegetables, the asparagus are kind of the same size, and the radishes are kind of the same size, the carrots, baby cucumbers, the broccolini, they would be a serving per person because you want that experience that people are going to have all the same bites. You know, they're going to take one piece of this, a piece of that, so you want to make it nice and good looking. For the potatoes, I'm using baby potatoes, so same caliber. And for the florets, I've also detailed them to make sure they're going to be roughly as well the same size. So all of our vegetables have been washed, trimmed and cut and they're ready now to be cooked. But before you cook them, we need to prepare the aioli because it needs to rest a little bit in the fridge for the garlic flavors to really infuse. Now this is what we're going to be using today and the one thing you can't do without is this. The pestle and mortar, very important, it can be wood or stone or whatever you have. For the ingredients, four garlic cloves, two egg yolks, two pinches of salt, I'm not going to use all this of course, 200 milliliters of sunflower oil and an additional 100 ml of olive oil. And now let's make an aioli. So the first thing you're going to do is to take your garlic and if there is a germ like there is here, it's always you need to cut and your garlic in half or whatever and remove the germ and discard it because that is bitter. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of taking all of your garlics and roughly chopping them into your pestle and mortar. So you're going to repeat the process for all of the garlics. And now let's start grinding now. One word of warning before we start guys, uh, this is a very garlicky mayonnaise. If you don't want to have that really pungent like extra garlicky taste, you can either reduce the amount of garlic cloves, maybe use three or something or even less, be careful not to put too little. Or the second option, you can partly cook some of the garlic in boiling water for just one minute to kind of remove the extreme kind of taste of the garlic and that will give you something a bit toned down. So once you've got the garlic in there, pinch of salt, huh? it wants to be tasteful, it's going to help for the grind. And with the uh, the pestle, I hope it's the right name for that. We're gonna make a puree of garlic. So we're gonna crush everything and turn it until we get a puree. Okay, should be done by now. Now if you look, the garlic is really, really has to be a puree of garlic, not pieces, a puree. If you look with a spoon here, if you can see, it is really, really crushed. Next, you add your two egg yolks. And you mix them nicely with the garlic. And that's gonna start or prepare that emulsion before we put the oil in. Okay, so when your eggs is mixed with the garlic, you're gonna start to introduce the oil little bit by little bit. Huh? Be very easy in the beginning. And you keep on turning like that making sure the oil incorporates with the eggs and it's going to start to thicken. So keep on going, going very gently until we get some body consistency. Right, 
So as you can see here, I've got this left of sunflower oil almost done and this is what I get. And just a little check, you can see the consistency, it's like a mayonnaise, but at this stage you need to try. See how the garlic is going in there. Now that is garlicky. I'm gonna add some oil. So basically you keep on doing the oil again, gently, being careful until you're finished and then we're gonna add some more olive oil. Right, almost done. So as you can see here, it starts to rise a lot. And for the olive oil, same thing. You don't have to use it all really. This is just to add that kind of edge and that olivey kind of bitterness to it. But you want to be very gentle in incorporating. So same thing, very slowly, take your time. All right, that should do it. I used about half the olive oil, actually not everything. So it's up to you, you have to judge by taste. But how do you know you're finished? Basically, they say in the south of France, in the Provence, you have to do the spoon test. So you need to gather your sauce uh, in a mound, and if a spoon kind of sits in there on its own, like that, it's like it's the good consistency. So we're all done. We can now start cooking the vegetables. Okay, and now for the cooking of the vegetables and the eggs. Now this is my setup and I'm going to just show you everything at once. We're not going to reinvent the wheel, but we're just going to boil vegetables and cook some eggs and potatoes. So first thing, you got your pans. I've got one large pan with boiling water that I'm going to use to boil all the vegetables. A small pan for the eggs. And here it's the potatoes that have to start in cold water. So you put your potatoes in cold water, you put the heat on, and you're gonna wait until it boils. When it boils, you're gonna count at least 15 minutes until the potatoes are cooked. To know when they're cooked, you just take a knife like this and you're gonna plunge it in a potato. If the knife falls through the potatoes with the weight of the knife without pushing in through, it's perfectly cooked. The eggs, boiled eggs, you start with boiling water like that. And when the water boils, you put your eggs in delicately like this and you count from here 10 minutes and they're gonna be perfect. For the rest of the vegetables, big pan of water, plenty of salt up to 10 to 20 grams. Huh? And we're gonna start by color. So I'm starting with the white vegetables, then I will go on with the carrots to avoid all the coloring, the cross coloring and finish with the green stuff. When they're cooked, Sorry to love the information. We're gonna plunge these vegetables straight into icy water to stop the cooking immediately and conserve that beautiful coloring. In terms of the cooking times, most of the veg would be partly cooked. So we're talking about maybe 10 minutes, but it's up to you to judge and how you want them to be cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the one demonstration. The eggs are now ready, so I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna put this in the sink under running cold water. For the cauliflowers, when they are cooked, you leave the water running, it's nice boiling and you want that and you're gonna put this into icy water. And this is just to cool them down immediately so you're not leaving them to soak in there. As soon as they've been in the icy bath, drain them and you put them on the tray like that on the side to further drain and you can put some paper, paper towel if you want. And you repeat the same process basically with all of the veg. And that's it guys, I've cooked all the vegetables and the aioli is here, the centerpiece, it's ready. And now I'm gonna start to dress everything up with a little music in the background because otherwise it will take too long. But with further ado, music maestro. My God, that was a bit of a rush. So I've kind of improvised, hoping I did not forget uh, anything on that board. So as you can see, the grain aioli, it's really a platter of vegetables uh, that are seasoned and uh, served with this thing. So of course you can just either take plates or you can just dip in there. And it's just a matter of a... Mm. You see that crunch, beautiful. And maybe what a little carrot. Carrot goes very good with garlic. Mm. And that's it. That's the idea for the grain aioli.
On that note, I will leave you with that beautiful platter. This is the end of the vegetarian series and I hope you enjoyed it. And this is a true grand aioli, the vegetarian version. If you want to have a non-vegetarian version, this same dish is actually served also with poached fish and fresh cooked mussel on the side for an absolutely stunning and gorgeous dish. But that's it for the video of the week guys, I see you all next time on my next video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you very soon, bye bye.